Well, good Tuesday morning to you. Rabbi Librand here with an encouraging word. I am excited to be back with you today. I have a question for you. When you think of Christmas, who do you think of? Doesn't seem like a hard question, does it? You you probably automatically go to Jesus, right? And and you should. It's it's Jesus' birthday. Jesus is the whole reason that we have Christmas. But but my question for today really is is who are the people in your life that have shaped Christmas for you? Maybe it's maybe it's your mom and dad, maybe it's a, a grandparent or, or brother, sister, aunt, uncle. It could be anybody, it could be a friend. But who is it that has shaped Christmas for you? Looking at it in my, my own life, I would have to quickly say it's my parents. They, they've had a huge influence on, on how I look at Christmas, and I guess it's because they always made sure we had whatever we needed when it came to Christmas or any other time in, in the lives of me and my brothers. They, they always put us first. It was always important that their boys have the things that their boys needed, even if it meant that they would have to do without sometimes. It's people like this in our lives that that truly shape who we are as humans, but also uh, that that truly shape our Christmas stories as well. It's the same for for Jesus and the Christmas story that is so well known of his birth because Mary and Joseph play such an important role in this story. They were scared. They they didn't know what to expect. They they were not expecting what happened to happen, and and yet they had faith. Yet they provided. I don't know a whole lot about Jesus as he was growing up as a as a young boy and a teenager, but I have a feeling he probably got into a little bit of trouble, just like any any other teenage boy. And and yet I feel like Mary and Joseph were probably always there for him to to help out and and to guide and and to make sure that he was headed in the right direction as as the people that influence us in our lives have done for us in fact as we look in Luke chapter 2 verses 18 and 19 it says and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them the shepherds that came and and told everybody about about Jesus, but but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. I think it's without a doubt that anytime somebody says something about their child, we hold that a little special to us, don't we? When when we hear something great about our own child, we we hold those close to our heart. And the same was true for Mary and Joseph. All these great things that they were hearing about Jesus, it wasn't just the Son of God they were hearing them, hearing them about. It was that they were hearing them about their son. And they held that very close to their hearts. It's a season of celebration. We've talked about this before. It's a, it's a time to celebrate and Christmas is the perfect time to celebrate those people in our lives that have helped us, that have guided us, that hold those special words that are said about us close to their heart. Those that mean so much to us and have helped shape this Christmas season for us. Just like Mary and Joseph helped to shape the life of, of Jesus, so did other people in our lives help to shape who we are today. And so go out and and encourage people to celebrate this season. Celebrate all the days that are coming up and, and celebrate those people in our life that have meant so much to us. Hey, I've enjoyed our time together today. I look forward to tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday.